Hello, Tube. I am Joshua Hobbs. Over the last two weeks, Donald Trump has been pressuring President Obama to show his birth certificate while on a test the waters campaign trip. Today, Obama released his birth certificate and held a press conference shortly after. Let's take a look. Let me just comment, first of all, on the fact that uh, I can't get the networks to break in on all kinds of other discussions. <laughs> I was just back there listening to Chuck. He was saying, it's amazing that he's not going to be talking about national security. I would not have the networks breaking in if I was talking about that, Chuck, and you know it. Wrong channel. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, uh, as many of you have been briefed, uh, we provided additional information today about uh, the site of my birth. Now, this issue has been going on for two, two and a half years now. I think it started during the campaign. And I have to say that over the last two and a half years, I have watched with uh, bemusement. I've been puzzled at the degree to which this thing just kept on going. Uh, Any politician is just minimizing the issues there and making that joke. But look at how the tone changes. We've had every official in Hawaii Democrat and Republican, every news outlet that has investigated this, confirmed that, yes, in fact, I was born in Hawaii, August 4th, 1961, in Kapi'olani Hospital. We've posted the uh, certification that is given by the state of Hawaii on the internet for everybody to see. People have provided affidavits that they, in fact, have seen this birth certificate, and yet this thing just keeps on going. I personally couldn't care less for these born. It doesn't matter. We're not going to teach him or get crazy at this point in his currency. We're about to have another election, or they're about to kick off an early one. Whatever. Frankly, I think Donald Trump feels around the same way. And look at it. He's been getting a ton of press and tons of support just around this little issue that doesn't matter any which way. He's just gaining momentum. But here's the best part of that. The press assembles around Donald expecting an apology. He gave a statement. Hold your answer. Today, I'm very proud of myself because I've accomplished something that nobody else has been able to accomplish. I was just informed while on the helicopter that our president has finally released a birth certificate. I'd want to look at it, but I hope it's true so that we can get on to much more important matters so the press can stop asking me questions. He should have done it a long time ago. Why he didn't do it when the Clintons asked for it, why he didn't do it when everybody else was asking for it, I don't know. But I am really honored, frankly, to have played such a big role in hopefully, hopefully, getting rid of this issue. Now, we have to look at it. We have to see, is it real? Is it proper? What's on it? But I hope it checks out beautifully. I am really proud. I am really honored. Now we can talk about oil. We can talk about gasoline prices. We can talk about China ripping off this country. We can talk about OPEC doing numbers on us like nobody has ever done before. We can get on to issues, and hopefully when I sit down with interviews, people don't start talking about birth certificate, birth certificate, like they've been doing. So I feel I've accomplished something really, really important, and I'm honored by it. Okay. And you know what? He's right. They would have never given this information 
otherwise. This whole ordeal pushed Trump strictly from the business world into the political world. The Democrats wanted to show up Trump by looking like a conspiracy theorist. But Trump turned it around on them, showing the press that he made the most powerful man in the world flinch. This reminds me of a, another political exchange. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?